I know. And as a therapist, it sounds so weird. I say this to friends sometimes. I'm like, I want you to cry. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's like, that's my goal. Like, because if you can cry in front of me and you're okay to do so, then we're good. Right. Like we've yeah. reached a level of like comfort and you've reached a level of like emotional understanding. Mm. Right. So it's like, I think I say this to one client, especially I'm like, no, it's good to cry. Just cry. Yeah. <laughs> Just go for it. You can let so much out and like your body's able to like process yeah. so much of what's going on. Yeah. I'm curious. What are some themes that come up a lot in your therapy work with clients? Maybe mm-hmm. even when they cry, if there's a, like, do you notice there are certain triggers that cause us to cry more other than other times? Um, so I deal with a lot of trauma a lot of trauma work and um it's family (laughs) it's like family is usually the main traumas um or at least like the beginning of it before like major traumas hit Mm. um yeah so a lot of family a lot of like invalidation Mm. i think that's what a lot of people struggle with where they're like i don't know why i get this sense from my family like especially because it's it's like a really confusing place to be where like these are the people that are closest to me yeah but also why do I feel like I have such complicated relationships with them um and I I guess it's like heartbreaking you don't realize how many people don't get it until they're like again it's reflected back at them mm. and I'm like well do you think that that's fair you know like and then they have to stop and be like I mean I guess I knew that but it seemed like it was just what it is yeah right 